Amen. Yeah, I want you to step up here and take a few minutes, if you would, and tell them a little bit about what God has done for you and, and what uh, what He's brought you through. I think these folks would like to hear. Thank you, How many of you out there believe that God is a God of second chances? Oh, yeah. How many believe that God can do anything? Oh yeah. Listen to that word. Any thing. No matter what the enemy sets aside Amen. for you, yeah. laugh at him. Amen. He wants you to give up. He wanted me to give up for 14 years. Right. He brought on a series of heart attacks in me when I was 38 years old. That put me on my back and in the bed and in a wheelchair for 14 years. I lost my voice, couldn't sing a song, couldn't sing a chorus without losing my breath. I couldn't go upstairs and take a shower like a normal man. I had to have my wife do anything and everything for me. I had a bunch of sur sur surgeries, had complications with every surgery. He tried his best to stop me. He got to where depression had set in so dark and so deep. I didn't want to live anymore. I was sick and tired of living in my home and had to go wash up in the sink because I couldn't do anything else. He kept it in the back of my mind, this is what you're going to do. This is it. So after a while with the same old drudgery every day, the human spirit kicks in itself, and you start believing it. Because you, you think about it daily and nightly. You think about it 24 hours a day. But let me tell you something. Don't give up like he wants you to. I had just about given up. I didn't want to hear God's name. I didn't want to talk about church or nothing. Well, my wife was pinned up with me for so many years. One day she finally, this is enough, I'm going out. And she went out and found us a little church, found her a little church. Amen. Begged me to go. She'd come home just to smile, and I knew why she smiled. She yeah. needed that, and I knew I needed it. Amen. But I was stubborn. I thought, nope, this is all I can do. They told me I'd never sing or walk again or do nothing, so this is it. I ain't going to church. She'd say, come on, you got to come to this church. I said, no, nope. ain't going to do that. Can't do it. She'd come home next week for the next service. The smile was twice as big and she <laughs> grabbed me, you got to come to this church. Amen. I said, no, can't do that. You know, I, I had it in my mind that if God wanted me up and around in church, I wouldn't have been in that bed for 14 years. Right. I wouldn't have suffered. I wouldn't have about bled to death and died of heart attacks and strokes. She came home one day and she had taken my mother and they both hit me. Boom. You've got to come here this preacher. You've got to come to this church. I said, well, okay. But what they didn't know, and I've already been praying to myself, Lord, get me out of this chair. I don't believe this is what you had for my life. I mean, I had it all. I was singing <laughs> anywhere and everywhere, traveling. I had everything. And I lost it for nothing, so I don't need that. So I got to praying. But every time I'd pray and she'd say, come on, I'd hear this little voice saying, get up. So I'd ignore it the first couple times. You know, I keep hearing it over and over. Get up. Amen. Finally, I got sick and tired of it. I said, Lord, if that's you, and then you want me up, you know, show me what I've done. Let me let me get forgiveness over this, what I've done to keep me in this chair. I said, but if I get up, I'm trusting you to hold me up. Right. Amen. And that was a little over 22 months ago. Amen. He gave me the songs back. I'm on my feet. I ain't in no chair. I ain't in no bed. I ain't in no And he's kept me up and he keeps me up. I'm going to tell you something. Everybody, I've had chances in my past. I've had chances to, to sing for big groups, not gospel groups. But I turned it down. Now let me tell you one thing. I don't want to be caught in some club or concert stage where people grabbing at my feet and offering me this. My wife can tell you. The world will offer you anything. Yeah. Right. There's one place, and I mean one place, that I want you to find me. Amen. When you get to heaven, I want to meet you all there. I want everybody to be there. Amen. But don't, don't walk down by the river looking for me. I want to be one of the ones that's going to kiss the feet Amen. of Jesus. Amen. To save my soul.